Fisher, one of the senior run leaders with Boobs on the Run and also the in-house nutritionist. Uh, for the recipe of the month this month, we're coming into the cooler months. Uh, we're currently in May, autumn. Um, obviously, we're coming into our winter here. So um, a really great thing I like to cook at this time of year is soup. It's so nice to have something warm in your tummy. It's really comforting. And what I absolutely love about soups is one is that we get to have lots of vegetables. So we can very quickly um, up our vegetable intake on a daily, weekly basis but also perfect for batch cooking. It's often one pot, we can double the recipe, triple the recipe if we need to, put it into the freezer. A lot of soups uh, freeze really well, so it's a great way of making sure that you're um, maximizing your time in the kitchen, you're not spending hours you know, preparing lots of meals each week, um, you've always got something ready to go. And um, also with soups, there's lots of ways of add extras to them. So the soup I'm making today that I'm gonna give you the recipe for is a spicy red lentil soup. Now, lentil are fantastic for digestion they really help to stabilize our blood sugar levels as well so if you're looking at weight management they're a great thing to have lentils can also help reduce um, the sort of the bad or LDL cholesterol as well so they're really good for that so using you know so I've got some red lentils and then we're going to flavor it you know a standard base for any soup is some celery carrot onion, I'm using red onion in this one just for a bit of variety as well. And then to flavor the soup, I'm going to use garlic, chili, because this is spicy, and also some curry powder. Now, I don't have too much curry powder, but rather than rush out and buy more, I'm going to improvise a little bit and I'm gonna use some turmeric powder and also some cumin. So, um, you know, these are all of these herb spices are great for um, sort of helping with digestion and just adding absolute flavor bombs um, to your soups, which are really lovely. Um, I'm also gonna add in some green beans to the soup and um, the stock I'm using, a vegetable stock, just one bought, oh, um, salt reduced because stocks do tend to be a little high on the sodium content. So um, the best thing with this, as I said, it all um, goes in one pot, takes about 30 minutes to cook. Um, you don't even need to blend this one. So this one literally just, as it cooks, it gets nice and thick um, and then when we're ready to eat, flavor it with some, a uh, little bit of um, natural yogurt. I love coriander, so I'm gonna add a sprinkle of coriander to mine as well. But you could also add in nuts or goat's cheese if you prefer. Like there's lots of ways that you can add in extras to your soups just for a bit of variety as well. But anyway, I hope you really enjoy this recipe. Um, you know, soups, as I said, soups are an absolute go-to for me at this time of year. One, because it's one pot, quick to make, um, lots of vegetables, which is great. And I can stock my freezer so that I've always got some ready meals, um, healthy meals ready to go when I'm really time poor. Anyway, have a great uh, rest of the month and um, look forward to hearing how everyone goes with their soup cooking. Okay, bye.